pretend Two times won't you be mine We just can't pretend This love thing can take time Three times then I'm in I heard through the grapevines You missing a playtime Girl mm -hmm. Your beauty make them bow down I need that body right now Afraid of fall in love with me. Let me be your parachute. Parachute. One time out of ten. Four times on the state lines. We fly till the end. My hands on your waistline. Sky high, feel the wind. Five times want to be mine. This love thing can take time, yeah. And no matter how long it takes, I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side forever. And no matter the ups and downs, I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right, I'll be right here by your side forever. Hey friends, hi. Um, <clears throat> I always say it's the beginning of a new vlog. It is, it's the beginning of a new vlog. I think there might be some footage that I may have taken on my phone that is, um, that you will have probably seen before this. Um, but uh, your girl's under the weather, okay? The girlie is struggling, okay? Uh, I think I, I don't think I've come down with the flu. And it's a wonderful time in my life right now. Uh, it sucks. Uh, I've come down with the flu. It sucks. I, I just, I literally just got out of bed now. It says it's 11, 11 right now. I got out of bed at around 10. Uh, because I was reading, I was in bed. I woke up, I think, at around half past seven. Elehore, I was up from about two till about six thirty because I just couldn't sleep. Like my nose was on fire. Um, I was coughing quite a lot. Um, I, I was just wishing, basically. Um, I do, however, feel better. I I probably sound more worse than I actually feel um i do feel a little bit better today so that it's wonderful um also what's wonderful is we don't have any power but me i was very smart and i put hot water into my flask because i don't let anything 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 come in between me and my tea no ma'am no ma'am so the power is probably going to come back in the next 45 minutes or so. Thanks, Eshkom. And um, I need to take some, 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 some uh, tablets. I might see charity today. Um, I think I am going to see charity today because we have some books that we need to exchange between the two of us. And she's, she's working in my area today so she was like ah. i was like ah come through come through come through and uh, let's let's do this so she's gonna come uh, i think a little bit later and i'm just not in i'm not feeling very festive this year uh i i don't feel the christmas mood this year i don't feel the christmas vibes i don't feel that this for the first year in maybe six years, seven years that I've been here, I'm not going to decorate for Christmas. I'm not going to do it. Um, because one, a lot of the time I'm alone in this house. Two, um, normally around Christmas time we go home. We go to the family. 
you know, spend a lot of time with our family around this period of the year. So I really just don't feel like setting up the tree and doing all of that. I really just don't feel, I couldn't be bothered. Uh, there's something about this festive that's, that doesn't, it doesn't ring fun for me. It doesn't ring merry. It doesn't ring exciting. Looking forward to the holidays. Uh, I'm not going anywhere this December. I'm hoping to go away in January with uh, my friend. But right now, good sis could not be bothered with Christmas. I really... It, I feel like when I decorate for Christmas, I'm in that spirit. I'm in that mood. And for the longest time... Pretty much all of uh, December, it's the 13th today, and a lot of November I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, I don't feel like it. I really don't care for Christmas this year. Um, and that's that on that, about that, regarding that. Uh, so, lots of things to share with you in this vlog. I don't know if I will be leaving the house in this particular vlog or going somewhere in this particular vlog or it's just going to be stuff in the house. Guys, I've been so busy with the Vodacom campaign and also working, work, and, and also trying to create content, whatever, that I just, I don't know what time to myself means anymore. I don't know what that is. And uh, that's not okay. That's not okay. So before we get into talking about some of my favorite things, which you know what they are. They're over there. They're over there, sweetie. Before we get into talk, What the hell? Okay. Before we get into talking about that, the books. Um, let me make myself a cup of tea. Let's start there. It's a good start. Cup of tea. Sure. I mean, we are sick, aren't we? So let's go with let's go with lemon ginger. And it's been raining for the past 15 years, really. It's raining every single day. It's been raining from last week, and today is Tuesday. It's been raining from I'd like to say Thursday, Wednesday last week. Probably every day. I don't know. Last week. I don't know, bro. But it's been raining. It's currently raining right now, as we speak. Uh, so that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, oh, is that hot water? <gasps> My goodness, what is this, honey? All right, and I also need to take my... So let me tell you, when you're sick with the flu, these two, these two buddies here, these guys are your best friends. Best friends, I'm telling you right now, take one of these guys, oops, slot them in there, take another one of these guys, slot them in there, and wait for the magic to happen. <laughs> oh lord, this is dying. A slow, odd, and painful <coughs> death. Oof. No, I do have some fresh ginger. I do, I do, I do, I do. Ah, oh, hey, chaps. Hi. Um, so, books happened. Uh, some books came in. Some books were gifts. Some books were a, 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 a purchase from myself. Um, because some of them I want to read in December, and I spoke about them in my last, um, bookish video. What was I talking about? My December TBR, and two of those books, I've already told you about this one, so that's fine. Two of those books are these. I didn't have the copies of the books, uh, when I filmed my December TBR, but I've got them now. So we've got An Angel's Demise by Sunyati. If you want to know what the plot point is of that book or the synopsis of these books, then head over to my um, December TBR. Yeah, yeah, head over there. And then the next one is The Liwa by Jackie Pamudze. I'm also really looking forward to reading that one as well. So we got, 
these hand buns and then in the mail ah, whoa whoa what a wow no not the sony uh okay in the mail let me see what i got in the mail in the mail i got these three books from from king penguin random house from penguin random house i got soul of the deep and this was a request from me i didn't think that they would send it to me so thank you very much this is a sequel to and i've got it here it's a, it's a fantasy novel about mermaids what more do you want in your life look at that cover this is a sequel to this hang on give me a second to this so this is skin of the sea this is the first book um and the second one is this one soul of the deep so looking forward to reading these two uh thank you very much to penguin random house penguin penguin random house uh, for sending me that uh really really excited for these i need to get rid of these books I'd like put them away because it's actually really strong to frustrate me that they are here uh and then from boom from jonathan ball publishers i got a Dowry of Blood, which I was reading in my previous vlog, since finished it, finished it this morning. Ah, fantastic. I rated it a 5 out of 5. Loved it so, so much. I put up a review of it on my Goodreads, and I put up a review on it on my Instagram as well. So if you want to check it out, it's about vampires. It spans over decades. We follow the life of Dracula's wife, his bride, Constantia, Constanta, and what happens, and... Ah, oh, it's beautiful, it's thrilling, it's horrific, it's a gothic horror. It's written like poetry. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. So that's the one book that I got from Jonathan Ball. And then I got this one, which I did request. Um, I am a big fan of Fred, Fred, Frederick Bachman um, from A Man Called Uwe. I read A Man Called Uwe probably last year, I think pretty sure um and this is the winners so i i don't know much about it i don't want to know much about it it's fine it's a chanka okay i mean we're looking we're preaching man we're preaching 600 pages oh, 670 pages ah frederick hey now you are uh, sure and then this one is from a local author. This is Sto Children of the Stone City. And um, I think this is a fantasy novel. And this is from Beverly Naidu. And she's the medal-winning author of Journey to Joburg. Okay, so this one says, Adam and his sister Layla and their friend Zach live as nuns under the permitted ruling class. But when Adam and Layla's father dies expectedly, unexpectedly, their mother faces losing the permit to live in Stone City and risks being deported back to where she was born. Before music-loving Adam can implement his plan to save Mama, Zach is arrested for a, go a bold prank that goes wrong with re repercussions for all of them. Okay. Okay, okay. And some pictures in there as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay. Well, looking forward to reading this one as well exciting times um and then what i did buy myself <laughs> aside from an angel's demise and liwa is all the light we cannot see by anthony door or do let me just give me a second gingery yeah. um and this one was a recommendation from is it Jack, Jack Edwards? Yeah, yeah. Also don't know much about this one, but I picked it up because I saw it. And it's in my favorite size. I can't stand this size. And one of the size, I'm not a fan. This is my kind of size when it comes to books. Okay? That's all I'm saying. And then right now, I'm currently in the midst of preparing... Um, <laughs> I'm in the midst of preparing the giveaway boxes or hampers and i can show you two things two things there'll be more things in each hamper but i can show you two things <coughs> and 
I would like to have them ready <clears throat> for around Christmas time so that yeah I'd like to have them ready for around Christmas time so it becomes like a, a hamper but also a Christmas present so two things that I can show you that have been donated by proudly South African companies that I absolutely love absolutely love and you'll know this if you've been following me for a while the first company that donated is Lano Lab. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you know how much I love Lano Lab, and I've got some of it on my lips right now. So I was um, purchasing more on Lano Lab, and that's when I spoke to the founder of Lano Lab, and I and I asked her, and I told her that I'm doing a giveaway, and if she'd be keen to donate some stuff for the giveaway, and she donated two. Two Lano Lab, this is their star product, okay? This is the multi-use natural balm. It is, I wonder if you want a dupe for Elizabeth on an eight hour cream, you're here, you're here. It's really great multi-use, it's great for skin, rash irritations, much like the eight hour cream, but I just use it for my lips. It's really good. It's so good, it's so good. And for myself, I purchased, I wanted to try out their, um, What's this? Leno Lab Skin uh, Intense Body Cream. So Better Skin Naturally. I love the packaging. I absolutely love the packaging. What are you talking about? Buddy. Oh, well, my, my nose isn't working right now. So that's kind of useless. So I bought this and this for myself. So we've got two for the winners. And then these are mine. Because... You must support. You must support the local brands that you love. You must support them as well. So, the next one is the star of the show. This is the pièce de résistance. Do you understand? This... Okay. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you will know. Okay? And the sad thing is I can't open them. I'll open mine, but I am doing some work with them, so I'm not sure... If I should open, uh, if I open mine, I actually need to be filming that as a reel as well. Anyway, so this is the Boss Plus Planner. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, two of you are getting this planner is worth seven hundred bucks. Seven hundred. Okay, and that one is worth two hundred bucks. The cream. So guys, this guy Haikelizan. This guy Haikelizan. But. The owners, who are women, which I love, and um, uh, uh, they are the ones who donated to this. This is the courage one. I just want to make sure. And I had met with... Uh, okay, this is my package. Okay, that's fine. I had met with uh, the co-founder, the co-owner, the owner of Boss Plus, <laughs> Plus One, and Tati, and we met for lunch last week and we had such a great time i think we sat there for about three hours or something just having a chat but boss plus is doing some exciting things and i can't really oh, i'll be doing exciting things with them as well but I, we'll talk about that <laughs> exciting um but uh, so they are they have kindly donated two of their really really gorgeous planners now i don't want to take these out of the box they are stunning now i've been buying boss planners for myself and for uh my family members for the past two years or is it three years the last two years um and this one has been kindly gifted to me along with the work that i will be doing with them so there's the courage planner there's the season of change, season of courage. It's the season of courage, planner. Guys, I can't get off a little bula. They wrapped up so nicely. But thank you to Boss Plus and thank you, Boss Plus One. <laughs> um, and I, and she was telling me the story of why it's Boss Plus One, and I love the story. Love it. Love it. You know, origin stories. Um, so thank you to Boss Plus One for sponsoring these gifts and Lano Lab as well. Thank you guys so, so much. 
Um, yeah, that's it, okay? Hey chaps, it's the next day, still feel like crap, uh, and I spent, what's the date today, 14th of December, and I spent most of my morning in bed, uh, reading, and t taking more naps, um, I was quite delirious in the evening because I would sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up, feel very very irritable uh have to blow my nose then cough then this so i barely slept last night i'd like to say at most i slept maybe three hours right through but every time i'd keep on waking up on the hour and all of that it was just a mess but uh charity was here yesterday and i think that's probably one of the reasons why i did not vlog for the rest of the afternoon yesterday she came through and we kind of hung out for a couple of hours um the reason why she had come is because we we had to swap books <coughs> charity and i read and i've mentioned charity multiple times on this channel um but this kind of made my day i know what book is in here we've spoken about it i was supposed to give her a book and i gave her the book and I know what book is in here. And, uh, but I think for me, for the mere fact that she wrapped it up, just made it all the more special. The taking the time, you know, you're giving someone a gift. I actually felt bad that I just gave her <laughs> her copy just like that. Um, I don't know, bro. I think I really have great friends. <laughs> I think maybe am I the drum? <laughs> Am I the shitty one? <laughs> no. Um, but the fact that she wrapped it up made it so much more special. And she wrote me a note. I don't even know why she writes me a note because I talk to her every day. I do. She's going to be watching this and probably rolling her eyes like, relax. Relax. It ain't even that deep. Relax. Hey, I got those guys. Oh, I know. I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's even to the screen. Oh, my man. I get up into this hole. Charity, I am. Get some chicken. Take it with them. Ram. Ah. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Mwah. I love it. I love it. I love it. She calls me Sugar Plum. I call her that as well. Sometimes we call each other all sorts of funny names, but um. Ah. I will. <laughs> so she got me this. But um, brown paper. You know how much I love this brown paper? Because one, it reminds me of school and our school books. But also at the same time, it's very, it's simple but gets the job done. So the book is In the Midst of It All by Tabile Shange. And I think that that cover is stunning. I don't think that that cover is stunning. It's stunning. It is a South African um, author, and I think it's a romance. Uh, it says Nandine Mumalo finds herself in a complex situation. As her relationship with her Nigerian lover Femi Adeoye progresses, she needs to tell her very strict and prejudiced father about him. Mm! When Babu Mumalo learns who she's dating, his stubborn resistance is not the only thing threatening Nandi and Femi's happiness. An old 
flame from Femi's past enters the picture, leaving Nandi doubting his faithfulness and her place in his life. Then xenophobic attacks oh, break out all over South Africa and Nandi and Femi do not escape unaffected. Nandi feels she has to do something even if she faces immense opposition from various quarters. She can no longer be silent. Ah, that sounds great. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Thanks, Chair. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Thanks, baby boo -doo. I gave her Legend Born. And these are two books. Legend Born is a fantasy novel. And these are two books that we're going to be reading together whenever we decide to read them together. Okay? What I'm currently reading now is this. This is a horror novel, which is... Uh, it's called... Okay, it's called uh, What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher, the cover. Okay, let me tell you, if you are reading, if you read horror novels and the first thing you come across is mushrooms, mushrooms, just know that there's going to be a problem. <laughs> so this is a retelling based on the old classic by Edgar Allan Poe called uh, The Fall of the House of Usher. So this is a story where we follow um, Alex Easton, who receives a, a retired police officer who receives a letter from his friend Maggie, or Madeline, Madeline Usher. And she tells him that she's not feeling well and she would like him to come uh, see her and all of that. So he comes, he pulls up to the house. And as he is riding up on his horse, it is set in, it's historical, so it's set in 1890. And as he's riding up in his horse, he starts seeing these mushrooms, right? These red gill mushrooms that look funny, right? But also at the same time, they look kind of, you know, decrepit and, and grotesque, right? So they, they look like flesh. <laughs> oh my God. It's horrific, okay? This is a novella. And so far, not only that, there's just really creepy things about the house of usher right so the friend is madeline usher and her brother roderick usher roderick and they are both just not looking well there is something off about the house there is something off it's definitely a gothic horror there's something off about the house there's something off about the area that they're in the fungal growth the mold in the house I mean, I started reading it today, this morning, and I'm 63 pages in, almost halfway, right? And um, I immediately thought of Mexican Gothic. And Charity is reading Mexican Gothic right now, and there's a mushroom element in that uh, book as well. And in this one as well, right? So there's these funny mushrooms. Even on the cover, you can see the mushrooms, and it's kind of creepy. And then there are these hairs, like, um, not hair, um, like rabbits bunny rabbits yeah hairs um around the town around the 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 community in the surrounding area that are just weird like they just stare right they stare at people <laughs> it's so creepy they stare at people they just stare right and the hairs kind of get pulled to the house the usher house and every single time they get to the Usher house, their movements start to slow. And they kind of forget, they don't blink, of course, and they kind of forget how to, to move or to walk or whatever it is that they do. And they kind of fall over and then when they see people, they just stare and stare. And the one, there's a scene that I was reading where the one hair just kind of made its way to the, to the, to the lake that is around the house and and fell into the lake and just i don't know if it was committing suicide or what <laughs> it's creepy but i really like it i really like it and knowing me <coughs> and the fact that it's only one o'clock i'll probably have have it done by today it's only got 168 pages i'll probably have it done by the end of the day what I did want to show you are some things that I picked up over the last couple of weeks from various places. I picked up a satin bonnet because my hair is growing and it's kind of getting annoying to sleep just with, you know. So I thought to myself, just get a bonnet. 
okay and i got this blue one from monsieur monsieur brise mr price monsieur brise and uh this is the problem with me and bonnets okay my head is small <laughs> so what do i do because i can't wear it like this it's gonna slip out at night <laughs> i'll figure it out i'll figure it out okay i'll figure it out okay but that's a cute one um so i got this from monsieur Prise. and then from various places i got a couple of crop tops now this is something that i don't typically wear all the time However, I've been enjoying wearing crop tops. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know and you will agree that he has actually been wearing crop tops quite a lot. Um, so I, bought, I got this one on special at, uh, what is it? Factory. Factory. I think I bought it for $150. It's really great. I'll put up a picture of me wearing it uh, here on the side. It's great because it kind of curves in and shapes your, your body quite nicely by the torso area. Quite nice. And it's... For me, it's weird because I prefer V-necks because of my my bosom area. But this one is, is like a round neck, so it still looks okay. I, I thought it might look a bit funny, but it still looks okay. And then from... What is this? Fashion World, because I was doing some... Uh, one of the stuff that I had to do with a uh, uh, um, Vode uh, shop, Vodacom. I had to pick up some things from Fashion World. So I got these biker shorts from Fashion World and I got them in black and white. Now in white, I'm very, very uncomfortable about uh, being in white and having my booty exposed. It's just not me. It's not my thing. However, I can wear these with like a white shirt on top or something. I'll show you some ideas from when I have worn them out and... Uh, how they've looked and then black biker shorts are always a win in the summertime because um oversized tee black biker shorts chuck taylor hit the streets okay who's going to tell you otherwise hit the streets do something okay um this is not new i don't know why that one isn't there and these is oversized tee of course this is this one says brooklyn this one I will put a picture of it here, of me wearing it here. Loved this one as well. It's great, great, great. And I got this in white as well. Uh, and the white one is written New York. And then from Mr. Price as well, I, I, I saw or finally got to see the, the beauty products by the Tabete sisters. Uh, the what? Quick face, right? So I picked up the ultra gloss just to support the girlies you know what i'm saying support the girlies i picked up the ultra gloss and i picked up the brow defining pencil because these are two things that i use the most in my makeup collection uh, not this particular brand of course but two things that i continuously use the most so i thought just buy what you know you would use so i picked up those two and what else? What else, me darling? And then, in here, from this game, I had to top up on my girlies. These are my girlies. I think we all know already. Um, they pretty much lost me, let me tell you. The hyaluronic acid, this, lasts me a lot longer than this does. Um, this one is also a lot more creamier and thicker, uh, but the ne in niacinamide, typically lasts around the three to four week mark um but i absolutely love these i've spoken about them on my channel i've spoken about them on the greasy the gram gram bam okay i've spoken about them everywhere and then what i just needed to top up on because i had run out are uh, some of my favorite uh concealers for my outer lining of the brow and also underneath my, what have we done? Underneath my eye, right? So when I'm baking and doing the, the thing, I really love these. These are from the Fit Me Concealers from Maybelline. And I typically take 35 and 40. Can you see that? Ugh, this camera does wondrous things with the zoom, okay? So I typically take 35 and 40, uh, 35 for under here, and 40 for here. 
just uh, to outline my brows after I've drawn them on. Um, <laughs> drawn them on as if I don't have any brows for these things, sister. And another one that I actually love, love, love under here is this one. This is the Superstay uh, Concealer. 30 hour concealer, also in 30, because I typically take a lighter shade for here to conceal. Um, love these, constantly repurchase these, uh, and I haven't bought them in a while because I do not wear makeup as often as one would think. And then what's new to my makeup closer, closer is gloss because I'm a gloss girl through and through and I always wear gloss especially in the warmer months gloss over a lipstick over a liquid lipstick sometimes just sometimes just the gloss I don't care uh, so I picked up this one from Maybelline um, so I picked up this one from Maybelline this is the lifted gloss with hyaluronic acid how do we not love that okay so picked this one up and then this was what was new to me and I can't wait. I'm not going to open this. I actually don't even have the strength for it. This is the vinyl. Uh, Superstay vinyl ink. And this is in number 10 lippy. Very cute. Very cute. The package is impeccable. <laughs> the packaging is very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, other than that, there really isn't anything interesting to do. I will get up and make some lunch with you a little bit later, but for now, I really just want to probably read and unwind and just give the meds an opportunity to work while at the same time trying to show you that I'm going to create content either way, even when the days are just, the days are dark, the friends are few. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm going to create content either way, even on days where I don't feel the greatest because I want y'all to know we don't we, we sometimes film even when we physically don't feel the greatest give me a second so sometimes we film even on the days where we don't feel the greatest so now I'm in slacks as always and these are my minion socks I am really just trying to rest uh, because we're going into the weekend and I might I think I might be seeing Balsa this weekend. I'm not sure. I think we were talking about it yesterday. Um, but there's really nothing exciting planned for me in December. Jokes aside, I'm not excited at all about this December. I'm not happy about it at all. There's nothing to look forward to. Um, it's the first December where I just feel like I want this December to rest. I really just want it for rest and relaxation. I don't care to do this, do that, or do it, host this or don't host that. I am thinking of hosting something though after the 1st of January for me and a couple of my friends here at home. But aside from that, nothing. Like I didn't even want to take a holiday this December. I told myself I'll probably take a holiday with Prue in January. So we'll see. Like I'm just... I think I'm a, I'm in a bit of a funk. And for the mere fact that I don't even feel well annoys me even more because it's just like, ah, come on, come on, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna rest up a little bit and then when it's lunchtime, which I don't know what I'm gonna make, uh, gonna give it maybe about another hour or so, and then when it's lunchtime, I'll make something to eat and then... Mm -hmm.